do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. Oh, like that. What's up? What's up? We are live. I know I'm a little late, but y'all come on in. Come on in. You are welcome here. The door is open, like at the church. <laughs> the door is open. Always up. Sorry about that. Come on. Sorry about that, God damn it, though. <laughs> I'm about to shoot his ass. I just told him my nerves are shot. I need anxiety medicine, man. I'm going through it. But see, that's more medicine. I don't, I don't need, need so, so you really feel so you really feeling it. You how, how long does it normally take to where you kind of chill? Y'all know Doughboy, but let me introduce Anya. Oh, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Um, because we've had you plenty of times. Right, so right, they right. they know you. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but up? today we do have Anya Malik in the What's building. Happening? Hilarious hey. comedian. You know what I'm saying? On these hoes, yeah. too. Blessings. Bless here. I have a gift for you, you too. Have a gift? Ooh. Hell yeah. Gift Ooh, now y'all know, right know how I feel about gifts. Y'all know how I feel about gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I was just down and out. See, you can cheer me up with food and gifts. She, <laughs> I get excited. Okay. It's oh, a, uh, this is it's so a nice. Look, set. I like the sticker. Yeah. It's like, my wing set, uh, it's the wing set box for my the, new EP, the uh, the comedy EP, the wing set. It's so wow. creative. It's this comedy EP. And look, it come in the box like it's going to really be some wings. And I thought bit. it was some wings. I was going to ask for some. I was hungry. We, we know you were. <laughs> I was too, though. <laughs> Got to mean to trigger you, well, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, and then he has the, where you can scan the barcode, too. Yep, yep. And so it's just so nice. Okay, let's see what's going on. Gifts. 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 Gifts on gifts. 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 Hey. Wow. Oh, I love this marketing this plan. This is so you got. fly. And he got this so they wow. have little sauce pack in the Colonel Face t shirt. Come but it's on, the man. Black Colonel. We got Anya on this yeah. motherfucker. Hey. I love it. Genius marketing. Thank it's great you. marketing. I love the box. I love the shirt. It really looks like you. Have you ever seen somebody with a shirt on? You'd be like, who is that? That is not you, <laughs> goddamn it. Who the yeah. fuck is that? But yeah. no, this looks just like him. Yeah. yeah it's so fine. dope. I run into some silly shit from rocking my own little brand. And they be like, is that you on your, is that your shoe? Is that you on your face? And I'm like, yeah, well, that's on my face. My face on my shirt. Is that you on your face? And why you got your face on your shirt? Uh and what happens when I believe they scan, in myself? What when happens when they scan the code? I've been so that goes that. to the landing page of the EP. It got the uh, as soon as you get to the landing page, you can either go listen to the EP on Apple Music, Spotify, or whatever, or you can keep scrolling wow. and watch watch the videos. They it's embedded. Vi uh, it's it's video very and audio. organized. So Vivo, I did scan the, the link. The, the, the video is on Vivo. Um, so if you in Vivo, you can you can just pull up my name or just go yeah you go to the uh, go to my Instagram or my website anyamalik.com. And just follow the links to the wing set. Thank you and so enjoy. much. Shout out. It's I'm so a, dope, y'all, yes, for real. Yes. And, and then I, Actually, some, that's fire. I'm sorry. Go ahead. One of the tracks, Tender, Tall, and Thick, the video to that track is available on Apple Music. You can see that on Apple Music. Because first he was talking about video. I'm like, now, is this comedy or this damn music? So is it, you, so is it it's, it's like comedic music? It's, it's EP. So okay. it's a four-track EP. It's about 10 minutes. It's three comedy tracks and one song called Don't Worry About It uh, featuring Damar Randy. I know DeMar, I can see yeah, yeah. Shout it's out a, to DeMar. It's a, you know, the jokes, the, the jokes uh, all run with a, a similar theme. It was all from one set that I actually, on the landing page uh, of the of the merch, mm -hmm. at the very, very bottom is the 15 minute set Jesus. that I pulled the, that this I pulled the, uh, the material from. But um, I just wove it into something short and sweet uh, about the, the, it's a joke called the wing shortage, uh, joking about the, the uh, wing shortage, mm -hmm. tender, tall and thick. That's available on, <laughs> on Apple Music. The video is available. The other one should be too, but uh, Tender, Tall, and Thick is about, you know, men and women lying about they, they stats <laughs> for, for Tender. Uh, okay. R.I.P. Art Supplies okay. is about motherfuckers. Uh, right you know, everybody tell comedians too soon, but nobody tell the artists too soon when it's time to paint pictures of celebrities that pass. You know, Just check I mean? it out, y'all, for real. <laughs> Kanye, <laughs> mother. Because right. you said the wing shortage. Did y'all watch Kanye? Yeah. I mean, Kanye. Look, it's, it's Kanye's it's okay. birthday. It's... That's why I'm saying that. Happy birthday, Kanye. You know that was going to be my man before he lost it. Anyway, uh, well, no, but Seemed before like Amber Rose. It. When Amber Rose. Yeah, oh, he done Amber. found. Well, no, I don't know about that. I mean, he found a Billy. 
<laughs> to lose your mind and gain a billy. Wow. Hey, you like, know what? I do. Oh, yeah, it's his birthday today. Yay, shout out, yay. Shouts out, brother. You know, uh, wait, you wanted to marry? I would have never. I was, was in college, nigga. Co- nigga, was what? it because he was the hot nigga Through in hip hop? What? He was so he's and he's still super smart. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Man, you can have but that, I, oh, man, Kanye was like the guy. wokest shit. I love Kanye. Look at this. And I still like his music. And I still like his music. It's just the choices in life. But, but I, I make just, horrible choices myself. So who am I to judge? But you I just know, know you as a. I just don't. I just would never have paired you and him. Why? I just don't. You guys. Do you think y'all would get along? Yes. I get along with Gemini's. Do you? This is so hypothetical, I can't <laughs> even really. Participate. <laughs> Hell yeah. You, you, you talk about the multiverse. Terrible. I'm like, nigga, you talk about the whole multiverse. I, 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 shit. I guess I can get along with Kanye. Kanye would have been, maybe he would have been more, he'd have had his, he'd have had his, he'd have been a little bit more strapped on tight if he was rolling with Precious. Yeah. See, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I would have yeah. his mind right. You know, when he was with had the dab, throwing right, up yeah. the dab sign, the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When he had the black girl, he was so. He was, he was, oh, yeah, yeah. How you move in a room full of no? How you stay faithful yeah. in a room full of hoes? Must be the Pharaoh. He in tune with his soul. He in tune with his soul. He was doing it yeah. with yeah. no problem, fool. Yeah. problem. And then, you know, she, you I don't it. know what yeah. happened, but, you yeah. know, shit changed. Hollywood. Sometimes. Hollywood changes motherfuckers sometimes. You know, shit be happening. I know shit, because yeah. I'm a change, nigga, when I get on. Oh, no, I'm, so just... so <laughs> I'm changing on these hoes. Fuck that. But I know y'all saw the, um, the title. The title. <laughs> we got to tell them how yeah, we got to this. That, man? How you okay, so that? listen. What's my ignorance got us to this title. Oh, yeah, I came. Right, that's right. We were that's looking right. for a title. <laughs> Everyone. Dough, dough boy. Leave it to dough. Everybody <laughs> was, was, was kind of throwing them out. Everybody was like, ah, not that. I said, hey, did you guys hear about that rapper, Bandman Kevo? He got a BBL oh, to get abs. Don't and boy so, sat here and said that man got a BBL. Because I thought that if a man <laughs> got abs Why would surgery, you ever put that on a I just, on a straight man? I just thought that that's what it and then they he were like, thought, they didn't know what he BBL thought meant. All plastic surgery was a BBL. <laughs> yeah, he, he thought a BBL was every every I procedure thought it was that all you inclusive. could get. <laughs> yeah. So if you got to let your lips done, you, you basically done, got a BBL. You got a BBL face. on your face. That's, you got, she got the BBL. You got the BBL face. face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bitch, get her titties on. You got the BBL chest. You got the BBL chest. <laughs> BBL BBL chest. <laughs> this man said he done. All this man did was go get some damn. You no, know what you mean? All he pack. did. All he did was go get some fat. You respecting that? Stomach. And he said that too. He was like, they took fat from like his legs, different places, and they sculpted him. Some abs. Y'all ain't got no issue with this? I have no issue. I, it's not my business. Yeah, <laughs> I have no issue Listen, with that. I can't. I, 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 I was. I was. I felt like I was a. Bad better person when I didn't know it, it before I knew it existed. You know what else he said? He said, he said not only does he like have the more? surgery for abs, he said many rappers do, they just don't talk about it. Yeah, and I believe that. I appreciate that. them not right. talking about it. Right, like we want to sit up and hear you talk about it. But I mean, be you. You yeah. know, some people talk too much anyway. You tell yeah. too much shit. You need to shut the fuck up sometime. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But, but sometimes, too, like if you don't give a fuck, tell your bitch. Who cares? Be proud of what you done done. That's them for the ladies. I feel like it's all they becoming too fake, though, go. because now you got women already doing ass, titties, lips, you know, nose. And now you got men doing abs, that's airlines. because they, they be in women business. Teeth. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, everybody's afraid to just be flawed. I, yeah. I don't think everybody is. But I well, think where we are. Everybody that they're right. showing you for the algorithms, I guess. I mean, I'm just like, why not just go to the gym? Though, you know that's how hard, hard work, it is man. in the gym. I Even know. you yourself had to get I a head start. It. You know right? what I'm saying? I did. So let's not uh, t- not a BBL. No, 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 no type of BBL. It's or a fat different trans- thing. Or nothing it's like a that. different thing. But I got I got the gastric sleeve. I was 486 pounds. Mm-hmm. So that was like, nigga, you're about to be 500. This is getting out of hand. We know it people that's 500 thing. that's walking around chilling. So but you still had a I'm choice. Not, I'm not pretty- judging him for doing it. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying I didn't even know it was an option to be done. It is an option. So and it's I like think, a new thing. And I think too, because I understand everything you're saying. Like, right. if you live, we're gonna get older, and we could just go on and age out. You know what I'm saying? And just do our shit or you know what I'm saying if you feel like it's something that you've been insecure about you know what I'm saying or this you always got teased about you insecure about you are able in in, in a position to fix it why the <laughs> fuck not 
You gonna walk around and then say, right? If you if it's something you don't like and you want to fix it, by all means, knock yourself out. So so if you're if you're dating a guy and he has ripped abs and then it comes out, you know, a year into the relationship, like babe, I got the uh, the BBA. It would be BBA, right? BBA. My brother. So it's abs, BBA, like my BBL. B. So what if he told you he had the ab surgery? You not tripping? No. That was your choice, sir. You still gonna rub on the I ass? didn't pay for it. <laughs> I wasn't there. I mean, you didn't even ask my opinion. I wasn't there for it. I don't care what you do with your body and your money. I really don't. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shit. It don't bother me. Now, if you come over here with a BBL for real, and then you ain't got a fast trip, you come over here with a big old booty, nigga, we got a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't here. want no you know dude with no mean. juicy he come booty. Up, he come over here with a dunk. Yeah, he got a dunk. <laughs> he got a dunk. He got to, he got to, he got to get your big booty ass out of here. Now you making me insecure <laughs> with the size of your ass. And I can't have that. You so you have you to insecure. go, sir. But no, you know, everybody like what they like. And that's you know, facts. That's facts. I just thought it was hilarious. I didn't know. And then the fact that he said not only he got it, but other rappers were getting it. I was like, I had, I was unbeknownst to me. But you know, a minute ago, Why you, put them on he, blast? you know, Kanye came and said he got lipo because he was Why getting can't? thick. And we right. all got thick over the pandemic. So Nigga, let me tell if you, about you wanted this. to bust you ahead, start busting. I'm Listen. on this 30 day cleanse right now. 30 days, three Listen. days in. Let I'm t- dying. Let me tell you. I want drugs. I got on the scale the other day. And you would damn near want to go get one, don't you? 338. Ugh, it's coming back. I'm, I'm back in that gym. This, this 30 day. Uh, kickoff thing. I'm back. Cause shit, I've been fight. I've been fighting all the way. I lost. Three thirty eight. Three thirty eight, man. Yeah, that's that too gym. big though. I know. Why you think I'm drinking water and doing? I mean, this? I'm too big too. That's y'all. Why y'all? <laughs> I done cut out my drugs. I said when I went to this store, I usually can walk in the store and just grab me a medium and get on the fuck out. I done got home, tried to try on this medium. Boy, I was so stuffed in what that shit looked like. I was like, oh my God. I had to go back and get a large. I said, uh-uh, this no, shit gotta stop. Are, are you dealing with the same thing I'm dealing with? I got a closet full of stuff I can't fit. Nah, I can fit because you know, most girl fit. shit stretchy, so I just be wearing that stretchy shit. I got, I got <laughs> a bunch of 38, 38 size jeans and I can't get into these hoes. Fuck that. The shirt I had on last night was too little. Shout out to Jamar and him. <laughs> that, shirt, that shirt was too little, but it stretched, God damn it. And so we made it work. <laughs> Shouts out Jamar. Jamar, Jamar neighbors, neighbors. hilarious. Jamar neighbors. I love him so much. Yesterday. It was really good. It was really good. So I booked say his another name. show that's, from that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Jamar Jamar Neighbors, not that brother over there. <laughs> <laughs> that brother over there. Yeah, I think when I got on the trip. I said I 165. I'm 5'5, five, five, 165. I think I would like to be like 150, no more than 155. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I like being thick. I just don't want to, I just need to be more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I you be, know how you want to feel with yourself. I, appreciate I want to be 225. Yeah, don't do too much. Yeah, don't do too You get too be sober. Y'all like, always whoa, say whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, and then later, y'all will be like, look at that fat ass bitch. That bitch used to be left. <laughs> bitch, just out of control. See, y'all be liking a bitch on the road to fatness. Never. Never. <laughs> y'all tripping. love a bitch on the road to fatness. Tripping. People's on there like, I like you like that. I bet you do. I bet you do. <laughs> Haven't you noticed for years you've been so bad you don't need hair? Yeah, you have. Oh. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what yeah. they be telling you in your regular day, but yeah, that's the testament too. Yeah. It's like that's so sweet. These are facts. Damn that's so man. Sweet. That's... Oh, Hair look how I'm going to take off my head. Now you're, now you're, now you're all girly girl. girl. Yeah, like... Oh, girly girl status. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What is wrong with me? Why are we like this? Did y'all see the little thing um, for the Mike Tyson coming out? You know the dude who's going to play Mike Tyson? They got Ooh. the preview out on the shit. Who is he? I just saw it today. Um, I don't know, but he looks nice. I mean, um. For the hey. longest, they were saying Jamie Foxx was. Going to play him, but I'm like, it's been too No, long. let me show y'all. Okay. okay, we'll go. Let me see. But I saw it. I'm like, it was a good little, um. I mean, the dude is cool looking, you know? I'm talking about Mike. Why am I putting in Mike Tyson? That is not where you saw that, Precious. Oh, my God. But, um, so, yeah, you had a good time today? Who, me? Yeah. Yes. Tell I was over there with an uh, all-deaf shot uh, roast me, so that was cool. That nigga's been tearing my ass up, man, all season. Man. They ripped you to... Man, because I hadn't been over there for two years. I'm like, these niggas have been in the roast gym. And then it's just like, niggas just be yelling the jokes and just be like, God, I can't get a word in that drive. Trevante Rhodes. Oh, let me see him. Let me see him. Trevante Rhodes. Um, I think I got 
thing. I got my volume off over on the show. But y'all having a whole side. Right. Nobody can even see what's going on. Y'all look on the shade room. The um, Mike Tyson. I'm just sitting over here smoking my little. Shavante Rose. And then they show him in the um ring. See, that's a good one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Trevante Rose is playing Mike Tyson. I can't wait to watch it. I like Mike. Mike Tyson is such a polarizing individual. Y'all don't know. You we came so? up yes. playing. Y'all don't know. We came How up so? playing. I feel like he's polarizing because we've seen him from so, so many different dimensions. Like, we seen him at first. He was like this this whole, you know, athlete on top of the world. Kind of had this crash to the bottom. Came back and kind of reinvented himself. Now he's like this cool-ass dude with a gray beard and a podcast. It's like, this nigga's just the coolest nigga ever. Like, I can't act like I don't like Mike. <laughs> he's always been that cool nigga. Man, we played Mike Tyson punch out until <laughs> we won that bitch. Real. You, you just that little ass white man got to fight all these people. <laughs> Everybody huge. You a scrawny ass. You know what I'm saying? Little ass white man and you just really trying to fight this dude. Boy, Mike will come out and knock you out so fast. Absolutely. Boom! You your, your motherfucking you're trying ass. trying to get up. <laughs> That's like, yeah, That's Mike is that though. nigga, man. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Shout I love his podcast. Out. Yes, his podcast is really nice too. Oh, he has a lot of people on there, and um, I saw where uh, was it YG was on there, and he was talking about with Snoop. Oh yeah, that, yeah, I didn't see that episode, but I did see that they had an episode together. That just that just seems Snoop like had a great him come combo. Come talk to the kids and shit, and he had to rap a song, so he tried not to cuss. Snoop like fuck that, cuss that, do that shit. I'm like, oh my god. Snoop, YG tried to be politically correct. Snoop like hell no, <laughs> but no um. That's cool. <laughs> what you been up to? How's your love life going? Uh man, love is in my life, man. Good. I love life. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. I like that. I like that. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, wait. What you mean, wait? Love is in my life. Give her another compliment. Give her another compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, pretty ass eyes. Thank you for bringing the sun out. You brought it. Thank you. I know the weather was nice. Thank you. Your effect on the weather. Blessings. Love is life, and life is. But that's how it works. You know, you when you when you have it in you first. You know what I'm saying? It it permeates without. There you go. That's some player shit. I like that. Though, yeah. quick co-signing. <laughs> it disagrees. It's, you it's agree. a great answer. You know, it's hard, Are you it's dating? hard to argue with that. <laughs> she went to like <laughs> Officer, whoa, I need my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not really. <laughs> not really. Mm -mm. I don't be dating. Mm -mm. That's not I don't be good. going on dates. I don't do that. Not really? I was never doing that. Even in none of the relationships and situations I had uh, found myself in. I'm not a dater. Wait, wait. <laughs> How do you end up in relationships then? You stumble up on them, you just fall Pretty into much. them. Yeah, we like meet. Some yeah, I don't know. It's not. It's not. That don't go on. You mean for real? Plotting. You don't go on. We dates? might go. We might make plans after to <clears throat> kick it or do something. But no, <clears throat> it's not how that usually goes. We like meet up or kick it, but it's not like seven o'clock. Meet me. I'll be there. <laughs> 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 and why y'all laughing? I like that type of shit. But wait, but wait, wait. That's well, just you know. That's so, okay. So you end up in relationships before y'all are dating. <laughs> So, like, do y'all talk, like, more on the phone, or? Well, dig this here. Okay. <laughs> I don't really like talking too much about how I maneuver. That's cool. Because, okay. because, okay. because sometimes, you know, it. shit it. is too, okay. shit is like, Sorry. you know, you feel like you got it too good, where if you speak on it too much, it might disappear. I got you. Oh, okay, okay. so it is good. Let me get though. the fuck out, choke Yeah, yeah, no, oh. man. So if it's I good, love then life, we leave love it is alone. in my life. Yeah, man. Okay. Got you. Shit is beautiful. Got gotcha. you. Oh. Okay. Shout out to that. Shout You're out to right, though. The minute you try to be happy and shit in public, goddammit, that's when you get shut down. Oh, that's your nigga. Really? He's trying to do this. Shout out to my nigga. Michael B. Jordan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no, keep your head Shout up. Shout out to they Mike. They broke up. They broke up. I and it was because she, mm -hmm. uh, and this is like, this is now more information is coming out about it. Right. That she he it. was ready <clears throat> to, 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 to tie it down, get a ring, get married. He's 35, she's 25, and she was just like, Not nah. Yet. She went, I'm sure she didn't say it like but that. Usually, I, I mean, but it, usually it's the, the woman that's ready and the guy that isn't. So that was just different to see. Well, I can I can understand that totally. I I can understand that totally. I could have easily had a family and just been chilling, but I wanted to come. She, I wanted my career. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? So I understand, and it wasn't no huge age difference, but it's just about knowing what you want, you know, right. and sticking to that. Because a lot of people change their whole life around mm -hmm. for a man or accommodate a man, and then you end up being miserable and like, I did all this for you, and this well, shit see, don't work out where, when you should have stuck to your own gun. This is where, yeah, that's where love happen, happening in you first helps because you're not really 
trying to do nothing. Yeah. You're not trying to but it possess depends. nobody. You're not trying to make a situation. Have you actually happy to what life is showing you? But, but, see, but you I know, never, when you're young, you, could, you don't know see, how to do that. It'd be better than what you could have plotted on. But see, this is know? the thing, though. This is what I don't understand. Maybe there's a breakdown in communication, or maybe there's just there has to be a breakdown in communication because how in the fuck are we dating for two years and then we get to the point where I'm like, we're gonna have to break up because I want marriage and you don't right now. We like, you would think that there would be more conversations from the jump. Like, right. hey, when you do you think you're gonna coming. be wanting to like, do this? Listen, this shouldn't be that. a shock <laughs> two <laughs> years down the road. Yeah. Like, okay, well, we're gonna have to cut this short. So that's just. So when going into <clears throat> something, do you sit there and tell them exactly? Or go get off you a the wife rip. Too. I'm off the rip. Too, Let like, me oh, tell you, you straight what it is. Like, oh, you don't. I don't want kids. You know me. Oh, I know you. So I say it straight up. This is what I'm about. This is what I want. I'm not like an indecisive person because I think when you go into it with the gray shit, then that's where you can end up two years down the line and now y'all both got your feelings hurt, scrubbing your IGs, acting like y'all wasn't together for two years. That shit really happens. So that's why I just think that there should just be more communication. communication. Like, what are we doing? When are we trying to do it? I think co- humanity you see what I'm is way simpler than that. You, you, know, than you said be, what? Humanity is way <laughs> is simpler it? than that than to be trying to do all this plotting for all of that. It's not, it's so many doper things to life that... And this is what I know about male attraction, Mm -hmm. because women say this shit all the time. The most attractive men are either gay or in relationships, right? They say this. You say say, they be saying that shit all the time, which tells me that women is really just attracted to whoever is not paying attention to them. Mm. So and then, even then, musicians <laughs> get it, good. artists get it, and it's like, but yeah, because they're not like, thinking about it. I don't never be like the best gold. man gave me. And, and it ain't even like they are genius. They like to <laughs> knock you off your goals. So if you got, you know, they can't knock you off your goals or they can't break up your relationship if you ain't got goals or relationships or shit going on, they ain't got shit to do with them. Mm. And so even that, wow. it's like, but then once you... Once you look at your goals, like, man, that's so much doper. And everything comes with that anyway. It comes with the territory of adulthood. You're going to attract, you exactly. attract what see, you into. And that's the thing. I gotta, too, cause when you, I'm sorry. Because when you're young, you don't. You don't. You just, you just, in a, you just going with and the flow. And if you're not attracted, you chase it. You need to stand still and look around and be like, oh, shit. Everybody. You know what you think. See, you're you're the, only the only pushback that I would <laughs> give to that is that I just think that with, with love, it's just like, I don't, I, I'll, like, I'll be hearing that this natural, let it flow, let it go, and just see what happens. But I just feel like. If you let what, it flow, you don't know where you might exactly. go. Exactly. It's like, I, I, I need do you some ever know where compass. You're going? Yes. But sometimes. you really don't. I'm a very well, you at least detail have a or like, I, like, <laughs> you know, I would want to know, I want to be married. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just think the that. life into the chat on your ass. I think when you're, you're dating or doing whatever with, you know, with motherfuckers, I just feel like. You need to know, like you know, you want to be yeah. married. But but then that's but that, that's probably personality type because we we definitely have. Have, you know, differences like it's personality types. No, I think it's just knowing exactly what, what the you fuck want. you yeah, want. Like, yeah. look, I'm not gonna be cool with this. Like, I right. want a monogamous relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We need to know what the fuck. Like, I don't want the gray area. I don't want this. Like, no, for real, it's good and it's. Right. I think it's attractive to know what you want. Absolutely. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. But I think a lot of people don't say what they want because they're scared of the reaction. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. And then sometimes people will say what they want. The other person will be like, I can't give you that, and then the person will think that they can change, change their them mind. and make Definitely them. Definitely, honesty fuck up. and being upfront is. Definitely Definitely a key. Absolutely. Practice. And when you're comfortable, of course, when you love in your life, you mm-hmm. don't have to shy away from how you feel about it. You can say that to whoever, and then, you know, however it land, it land. You right. Know? Right. But, but if you, you know where you're going to land, 
is where you attracted anyways or what you're trying to, you know, put together. Well, sometimes you just don't want to hurt people's feelings. You know what I'm saying? So then you end up in some bullshit. That's why you have to really know and stand in your shit and like, look, this is what I want. If you don't want it, it's cool. I did a motherfucker like that, boy. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Well, it ain't going to work then. Shit, because this is what I'm... Yeah. <laughs> and, boy, say. Love is just... That was honor. a minute ago, but I'm just saying, motherfucker really got mad at me for not wanting to deal with some bullshit. Like, you really... <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm the bad guy because I choose me. Yeah, <laughs> and I think, I think whoever you end up in relationships with or whoever you marry, I think that's probably the most important relationship you end up having because you spend the most time with that person and you're like... Kind of predicating your life around them, too. So I think it's important to make sure y'all like-minded and shit. Exactly. You need you to know? be able to be around. No, because I I, I enjoy my company. <laughs> 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 Not to be funny at all. Right. Like, that's a true statement. I'm just now starting to I, get like that. I really do. Like, right. enjoy my company. You'll never catch yourself like, damn. Is this me right now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I did that shit the other day. I came I home. Like, I was singing some shit. I was bothering the fuck out of somebody. I like that wow. shit. Like, sometimes... <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah, it's like you yeah, have like, to learn oh, to enjoy yourself yeah. because otherwise you're dependent on somebody else for your <laughs> happiness, your happiness for yeah. your this and for your that. Like, right. nah, I'm good either way. Yeah, I'm a chill. So like, she, right. we're going to be all right. Either way. And best yeah. believe, one monkey don't stop no show. Mm -hmm. Hey. And if you know, like I know, you would drop that hoe. Let her bob. Don't stop that hoe. Flip flop that hoe. Oh, that's Lil Kiki. Shout out to Lil Kiki in Houston, Texas. Oh, what else going on? Watch with Lil Kiki. I don't know that one, no. Boy, man, monkey don't like... stop no show. Look it up, boy. You're going to jam that bitch on the way out. Why, Plus some 25 no, lighters no on the dresses, mm. though. Mm. Boy, that's, well, they are out of the, here. Uh, that's the only line I know, but I know that the, line. Uh, yes, sir. I got to. Oh, oh man. I'm yeah. so told in the game. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Bro, I what else? Go through my old, <laughs> my old uh, hard what? drive. Oh shit! What's that? Super chat. Somebody just gave you a super money. chat. That's uh, money. Oh, some, oh thank you. Y'all gave me super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm talking about Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> okay, let me see. Ow, and I'm on the live. Let me see. Oh, thank you. Andrew's Wellness, much support and appreciation to one of the best up-and-coming podcasts in the past few years. Oh, Aww. that's so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> these hoes appreciate you. These hoes. <laughs> <laughs> these hoes. I love y'all. All, all y'all in the live chat. Thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. Kamira will be back soon, too, y'all, like um, next week. Shout okay. out, Kamira. Kamira. Shout out to Kamira. Blessings. Yes, blessings on blessings on blessings. Yes. And so, um... Doe. What's up with it? What's up with your love life? I'm just in this business. What? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's that bullshit. See, that's giving them time to think. You're accusatory. Uh, how is it accusatory? I like well, because sometimes, well, even like simple he questions like, how are you? For like, even when you say, how are you doing today? It's like, damn, did I even do a check in with myself? Like, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, me and I make up anything I'll put it to like make this. you the bad guy. Now, I'll put I'm, it no, like no, you're this. not the bad guy. Accusatory. I'll put it like this. I'm. <sighs> Very close to just retiring my jersey and settling down. So I'll say that I'm I'm very close to that. Not I haven't sealed the deal, but uh, I'm I think I'm about to. I the streets ain't for me. The streets ain't for everybody. They're not. So you know, and I I just can admit that at times in my life. So you know, sometimes you gotta just <clears throat> do the checks and balances of your life. So I won't give out too many uh, you know Pacific details. But yeah, I'm Pacific. Taking, I'm taking myself off the market, man. I'm finna get up out of here and uh, you know just. They can have the streets back, man, and you know, put my jersey up in the rafters. That's what's I up. I put on for fat niggas, you know what I'm saying? Since '79. It's all kinds of terrains, man. They talk about streets, man. It's valleys, it's it's, <laughs> it's trails. I'm done. It's roads. I am done. It's highways. It's all manner of terrain. I think that's a beautiful thing. I think ultimately right. everybody wants somebody to love. You yeah, know what I'm saying? these streets is lonely. These streets is lonely, man. Like I can't like I like who who wants to be all out there like like it's just too much. It's not even being all that because that's the thing too. I think when people think if you're not in something then you just all out there. She found the streets. It's right, right. You don't have to necessarily be doing that just because you're not in nothing. Like you can still just have, you know what I'm saying. Well, speaking of love lives, mm -hmm. what's, what's going on with that? what's going on with yours? 
Um, is my, there is there a guy that's got your eye? A uh, guy that's got my is there a guy <laughs> that's got my eye? Um, yes. Oh. A guy got my eye, but I'm not with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not in a relationship or nothing like that. But so, it's somebody yeah. that I do enjoy their company. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And that's hard for me. Okay. <laughs> Shit, so, you How know what? I'm okay. <laughs> Shut it up. Okay. But no, I'm just saying, yeah, it is somebody. Whomever that, whoever that gentleman is, do you think that he'll be able to, like, uh, fit into your life? Considering your lifestyle, you're an entertainer, you're a superstar, you're one of the most <laughs> hottest emerging comedians in this game, and you're on your way to mega stardom. Do you think this guy could be along? Because that's that's going to be important. Can that guy take that ride? It takes a secure man. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Hey, man, yeah. this up. Yeah, man. Hey, yo, you gonna hear me? Yo, yo, what's up with y'all? <laughs> y'all like detectives over here. Oh, You're gonna have a man? There's a man? There's a man. There's gonna be a man no, that you need to be able to step up in the time and the place. You right? gotta answer that. No, it's a step up as a man. As a man, man should. Not answer. like a man. Uh -huh. God damn. <laughs> um, yes, I do believe that it would. It could. I, I believe. But you know, um, shit, I believe it could work. I believe it could possibly. Okay. Because. Um, I don't think he's not an insecure guy at all. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. And um, like we said, you know, with what we do, people would have to be real understanding, you right. know. And, you know, he's busy too. So we just both got, you know, shit going. So, so it's I think a cool that's, vibe. It's a cool vibe because we okay. can enjoy the time that we do get. You there know? you go. Well, I'm happy for you. Shout out to happiness. Wait, I, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, kind of. Hell yeah. And, that's the shit. Yeah, and shout out to your secrecy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Discretion is what we believe. Discretion. <laughs> yeah, Bring yeah, the collar right. in. Let's see what's going on. You got, you got any more raps? I do. Can I get one more, please? Appreciate you. Still be in the mix. Yeah, you can still be in the mix and be single. First come, first serve. I got this pre roll. Got a pre roll? Oh. Oh, I both said it's some gas. Ooh. Said it was gas. Pre rolls don't usually be that gas, but know, you know what I'm saying? Know. I can't. I, know. I can't well, you're sober, so you know. ain't even tripping. <laughs> but I know about pre rolls. I know most of them are booze. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. This is good. This is this is an easy test. Okay. Okay. Just skip this one. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, precious and doe. How y'all doing? What we up, doing though? We good. What's up with you? Leslie. <laughs> I can get my name on there. I'm like, pressure deck like she know me. I'm lovely. I hate I missed the show last week. I caught it um, too late to uh, talk to that meat, but you know, I just wanted to say hi to you guys. Though, boy, I did find your um, your Morning. station, so I've been catching all of your lives. Hey, hey. In the thank you so, so much for the support. I appreciate you. Yay. Yeah, and I want to say thank you, Precious, for introducing new people. So that gentleman there, I will be looking yeah. him up just to check him out. And yeah. real briefly on the uh, topic of um, career over love, I'm I'm making it up as we go, you know. It's okay, it's okay. Um, Give it a title, because we ain't got names here. Look, it's cool. <laughs> Give it a title. Give it a second. No, topic. On the topic I'm about career to introduce. Career over love, love over career, or can we balance, you know? What, 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 do, you, what do you think? All right, can we balance? And so what I what my feelings are on it because I really love being my with myself and I travel by myself, I do a lot of things by myself, but I also enjoy people, so I'm not a hermit. Right. But um I I I made the decision like Lori did when I was 25. It was career over love because my passion was real estate, so I had to follow my passion. Mm -hmm. And to this day I do not not regret it because when I look back at that person that I thought I was so in love with, it wouldn't have worked out in the end. I wouldn't have never been successful at my business. Man. So and, and everyone, Go ahead. Yeah, and, and the thing about love, a marriage though, um, and I heard what you said, you taking yourself off the market. Um, as a man, you have the Yeah, sometimes you have to make a tough decision that you wanna focus on yourself. I believe our generation today are really focusing on, on themselves, even the ladies and men, they are more of a 
businessman, business lady, mogul, with social media, they have their own business. We're not really too depending on relationships like that. Not saying that we don't get married, but it's just that um, we, we are more independent with our love and love life, everything like that. So I do understand though, I do understand. The ability to make the choices, but us as women, we have to accept those that choose us if we are going to. So uh, my father always said, before you find love in a marriage, before you decide to find love in someone, you should find a business partner in them because marriage mm. is a contract. Mm. And yes. if you're not. Good yes, advice. we need some type of business like together. You know I like what I'm that. saying? For real. Right, I, I, right. I, I agree with that. I agree with that too. Because and if we can get money together, stuff, we can really. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or if you, and if you can just maintain your own side of the game, you know, and mm. if you can't be self sufficient, without me then we don't have love i'm not going to fall in love with you you know i'm not going to like you enough to keep on con having a conversation because uh first it's got to be business and then you know we'll see from there and going That's on real. dates is That's essential real. to being able to know if this person is uh, has the characteristics of a good business partner and yes, I think a lot of times we're just looking on the outside like, yeah, I'm supposed to do this, and I need to do this by this time of that. But I think I, I made that decision because I was young when, you know, you get your boyfriend, you get that first dude that you really fuck with, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was cool, but they take you down through there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if you can make it through that first love, that first real heartbreak, you know, that like, fuck you up, like... Bitches come out of yep. that shit with babies and, and miserable yep. and all type of yeah. shit. Like, no, nah, I didn't have that baby. I went on with school. <laughs> Shit. People think that um, once you get married, that's a life sentence. But I believe once you have a child, that's like a life sentence because e even if you break up with the person, that person is will always be in your life because that child is there. So I think that if you are able to not get a child in a relationship young, that that's really good. Because anything could happen. We got away. And then I, after that, after I went down so low, after being so cool, I was like, man, say, I'm not stopping this train no more for nobody. You know right. what I'm saying? You got to hop on this train with right. me right. or else. Because there ain't no way that I'm finna throw off my life. And, you know, you start thinking, like, I could have did this, this, and then my head's on the center in the goddamn hood and just fucked off all these yes. You know what I'm saying? And then, so from yep. then on, I'm like, precious, you made it out. You know what I'm saying? You can't take yourself back down. So... I feel you totally. And, I was 25 and too. Precious, yeah. two things that we got in common for a fact is we had our father in our lives. True. And um, and the thing about having a daddy that tell you something, he doesn't have anything to get from you. Mm -hmm. He's only trying to guide you the right way. So my daddy told me, he said, no, I'm not telling you to sleep with everybody, right. but I am telling you to go on dates and that way, once you know who you are, you'll know what you're willing to deal with because no one's perfect. That, that tells you how valuable having, having a father figure in your life really is because a lot of us haven't really grow, grown up with a, a father figure like that. And even if we have uncles and brothers in our life, they're not really, I would say, equipped at that time to give you sound advice so i do commend persons to have the uh, father figure and have the voices the positive voices to, to guide you based on their life experience to tell you where to go and, and what not to do i really commend that so you you'll figure out what you like and don't like but do never put the cart before the horse or this horse would never move and I'll leave it right there because you know why I talk. Thank you. Right, girl. You get, girl. We're going to talk on the phone later, girl. Get your ass on. Thank you for calling. We love you. <laughs> love you, too. On these hoes. On these hoes. <laughs> but, yes, you know what? She, she is. That's true. Because 
but then too, sometimes it worked like that. My parents got married at 25. They still together now. They 72. But you, know you know what I'm saying? So shit, it can yeah, nah, work if you really not. stick to it. I be having fears <laughs> though. Some years, right? I be, there. I be yeah, trying yeah. to get past my fear and like past traumas and stuff. But like, I be so afraid to get in these relationships because my biggest thing is, I just don't want to waste my fucking time. Whatever it's gonna be, like you know what I mean, like, and I just feel well, like I don't when... believe in the waste of time either. You don't? What do you believe? Okay. I mean, I personally believe in everything is a lesson. You may not look at it like that because you feel as though you wasted X amount of years with an, with an individual. With each with each relationship, I believe that you can learn something valuable from it from it. And it can make you even better to 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 a point where you will know if you want to marry someone when you see them. Basically, it says that a guy would know if he wants to marry a girl in the first. It shouldn't take more than a month for them to know if they want to marry somebody. I mean, time is man-made, so you make time. You make the value of time. So mm -hmm. how you perceive the time, so you know what I'm saying? If it was anything special or anything slow. that you felt cherished, then it would have been it's valuable time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I'm and sure so you, you learned something from that I'm about time. to say exactly that. Like, I'm mm -hmm. sure you extracted <laughs> right. some sort of data, some shit you didn't know, right. some shit you wasn't aware of. It's something in all of it. And too, like, of course, right. you're going to be scared. We all going to be scared because to be in a relationship, you really have to be vulnerable. You have to really yeah. open yourself up to the point where I'm letting you inside. Let you, you know, know everything. What I'm saying? Not just inside me, but all inside right. my the way I live, the way I do this, the, you know what I'm saying? My in and out. So, you know, my a money, lot of people. My future, my everything. Yeah, my and vision. a lot of people just want to see that so they can be like, ah, oh, this bitch just stay up here. She do this and they do that. You know, like a lot of people are fucked up individuals so that's when your discernment needs to come in okay don't yeah. just have people let your crib meet them out shit see what's yeah. up you really see if you like people before you just bring them in because true otherwise yeah. you be done fucked yourself out now they out here talking shit about you <laughs> which i don't know what shit you gonna talk <laughs> God <damn it>. right. <laughs> <laughs> but they will try you oh, know yeah. what i'm saying yes but that's the thing too the way they can try you got shit on them too so like just live your life just have fun because life is about going through this shit. At first, I was like that. Like, I ain't doing this shit. Right. And I was that person who, yeah, who did want to do it, who got somebody. Leave me Because I don't want you to be tell on me. I can't tell on you. We just chilling. And I don't want no strings attached because I'm trying to get to this money and I ain't got time for these emotions. And then later you grow up and be like, this shit's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> or even then, like we on a public thing yeah. where it's like a broadcast. And so if everything, you know, don't work out like that. <laughs> right. Real embarrassed. Right. It's very embarrassing when you shit don't work saying? out. Exactly. It's very so, embarrassing, but at the know, same. That's why I believe that celebrities have it the worst because everything they do is under a microscope. I don't know. I don't think everyone can handle the lifestyle of a LeBron James or a Michael Jackson when he was alive because. You know what it is that you cannot do simple things like go to the park or spend time with your kids in public without having everyone around you want to take pictures and everything like that. It takes the humanity out of it sometimes and sometimes you just, in my, in my personal life, sometimes you just don't want to be bothered. I know that for a fact. Sometimes you just want to chill, you know? Time. So what? Everybody go through it. We go it's just like I said, right. when you speak, you know what I'm saying? We got, I'm hyped. Like I said, love is really in my life. And so, like, when you so hype off that, you know, I, sometimes you want to, like, not speak on that too much. Because, mm -hmm. like, especially on shit, it's just like, why? You know what I mean? Like, man. If I'm happy, I don't give a damn. No, I'm happy. I'm happy. Not no. saying I'm speaking on exactly what we yeah. do in the move, exact mm -hmm. moves we make. But, yeah, if I'm happy, I don't mind that people know, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, Cause we deserve yeah, to be right. happy. Absolutely, that's what we're <laughs> for. We, we deserve to be fun. happy. Just yeah. we make you laugh. And then, like, yeah, I can like hella like focus on just really just putting projects out. You mm -hmm. know, I did some shit called the Winter Pass, the Winter <laughs> Comedy Pass, mm -hmm. where I took all my shows, right, all the comedy shows that I was doing, mm -hmm. and I, I I put it up all up for sale like a festival. So like anybody, you know, anyone want to go to your shows. They don't know when they want to go or how they want to go, but go here. But here's the link, and you got the pass to all the shows. Once nice. you cop the pass, I put you on the guest list to all the shows or whatever show you want to come to. You in a you in a private uh, Discord chat, and you get a secret link for when I go live at all the other shows that you can't make. 
for mm. any of the shows you can't mm. make. So nobody gets right. us announced. You getting? That's how I built this project. Yeah. The wing set. So while I'm doing all of that, I'm, I'm like capturing data to make this, make the next release. Can I, can I, can I say really something smart. about That's that really quick? Really nigga, you are a fucking genius. What? That is nigga, awesome. you, you're my, and I've been around some really creative, bright business minds. Like, you gotta change entertainment. Like the shit that you're like, how your mind works, that's insane. Like that's really fucking good. Well, <laughs> really fucking good no, it is. and smart. Like I mean, even his, to dog, his marketing, you know, this one, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, because they gotta pay you, and that's dope. Because we've been complaining about getting festival? money, festival, right? We put, we we been yeah. complaining about getting not getting money or getting money, whatever. But okay, so you open up the gate, and right. now it's like so now it's Jeez. now it's your market, yeah. And they tapped in, and even if they can't make it, like I said, they got the online, you got the link, they got the you online, so they can go to all the shows in that sense, essentially, yes. Essentially, yeah. Bro, keep doing your thing. That's so, that's very very impressive the way your mind is and no, so really firing is. off. And Jesus yeah, Christ. man. And you can't think about. <laughs> you guys, you guys should watch the Steve Jobs documentary. That is so awesome. It gave me so much motivation to like think outside the box and not doing everything that we are so accustomed of doing. Because me personally. I grew up always focusing on going to school, getting a degree, getting certified, that, and everything like that, right? But I would say over the past seven, eight months, right, I've been hit with a, a eye open up and I stopped working during that time, right? And I I came to a point where I I felt like I was I wasn't doing my purpose in life. I I don't really want to work, but I know the importance of working. So I I I started to think about it. I do not want to work. In my heart of hearts, I don't want to work for nobody. And uh, for the pa for the first two three months, I would say that I was kind of lost and down, and I didn't really know what to do. I was searching in my heart to figure out what can I possibly do that I can enjoy doing without having it fe feeling like work. So you know what? I started um, I started with YouTube as a reaction channel and I reacted to random videos but it turns out that you guys enjoy the roast me content so that's when I did the transition and I changed everything on my content around that and believe it or not in the first I would say four months in going on the four four or five months in I, I already hit the, the watch time hours and I hit 1,000 subscribers. So I think that's a accomplishment if I may say so because a lot of people they may start a YouTube channel and they never hit 1,000 subscribers within that time. Sometimes a person may take a year, may, maybe two years, three years, but you know when you do something that you enjoy doing, persons will be able to feel that. They will be able to understand where you're coming from and they would just do the same. And, and that's where you can build your audience. And as time goes on, as you be consistent enough, you can actually do, do things better. And hopefully down the line, I can actually have better quality. But I'm not really focusing on that right now because you you have to start with whatever you have at this time. Then, when you're able to do that, you can get the equipments that you could could get, you know. But I really appreciate you guys. I I just had to share that with you. I just wanted to get that off my chest. About that, no shit like that. Why you running around Bullshit trying to get on holes and going shit like that? Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting the holes. Oh, did y'all hear about that shit? Trying to, trying to, you did y'all hear saying, about that shit? There was a lady. <laughs> there was a lady. This is on a serious note. A lady. She tracked her boyfriend with the uh with oh, the iPhone shit. shit. Yeah. 
went to where he was at and ran him over ran three times. Ran over three times. Mm. Yeah, I heard about it. Rest in peace to that guy. Fuck. They say this shit is serious. Out here. That's the other thing too. That's why you need to be honest, cause people are taking shit serious, and you oh think you're my. just gonna move on and do what you're gonna do. That's like what happened to that rapper Trouble. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that lady, Rest she maybe she was out of the relationship. He wasn't out of it. Right. He done came over here with that bullshit. A, a lady got cheated on and she threw the dude's mom's ashes Ooh. out over I, the. I was just like, who I does that? I saw that too. I saw they, they uh, charged yeah. her. They gave her felony charges though. I think. I randomly came across that video. I think it was a shot, a YouTube shot or something, where the woman threw the ashes out because it says that he cheated. But I don't care what, you shouldn't do that. I don't think that is, um, oh my goodness. She crossed the line with that. They gave that, Yo. I think they said she was happy when she was really doing the video, doing the shit. But now later, her ass done got right. charged. This, this, That's this, at least some civil shit. The you social know, media, least, the, yeah, at least go, they gonna hit you. For you it, put man. my mama, boy, <laughs> y'all better my get this bitch ass so ass. I get them. Say, dude, play, say. <laughs> Say, Say. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. And it's different out in these social media streets. We were just talking about this. Did you hear about this? Okay, so you know with the YSL case, right? The Young Thug thing. Mm -hmm. oh, so man. listen to this. This is a different layer, right? Oh, so there's a an a, a 18-year-old kid, right? 18-year-old kid. And he's in Atlanta, right? Okay. He made some threats to the uh to the to the like the sheriff and the prosecutor and say if you don't let young thug go i'm gonna kill you just some crazy reckless shit right he made some threats but peep this they hit him with 28 felonies mm. but he said it on instagram in a comment section and got hit with 28 motherfucking mm -hmm. felonies terroristic threats mm. and some more shit yeah have you had like where is the but where is the world going now to I where mean, socially i mean do you know what i'm saying he going where you think you could just say some shit like that well he's mentally disturbed his mom you know came what i'm out saying to where you oh, could just yeah, is he yeah, okay just came really out and said pop that. out like that like that's where they get that the, the lines on that shit blurred too because it's like yeah you, you got a motherfucker alias to think what somebody shit, like, you know just said on their phone i mean everybody i mean i'm assuming everybody has trolled somebody at some like you just say whatever but i think we get desensitized because you're just online you don't fear a consequence but you try to hit a nigga with 28 felonies? I mean, you talking about killing somebody. And you yeah. can't take that lightly. Yeah. Otherwise, and these days, you, right, otherwise, you right. look like a dumbass. And then they look at it. But they take it lightly when the other motherfuckers post the shit before they go do it. They took it lightly when this motherfucker killed his no. grandma and said he and killed then, him. And, then, and, and then waited to go kill these kids. They took it lightly. Because it's a little black boy. You know what I'm saying? Now we got to give him 24 counts of felony charge. You didn't even know he got mental fucking problems yet. Right. But you a police sitting there like, well, well, we didn't know whatever. We don't know that. But I know he can't threaten me. I mean, like, oh, yeah, it's serious about y'all, ain't it? It's very serious about y'all. <laughs> Just a threat is serious about y'all. You can right. take our lives. It ain't yeah. shit, fool. But it's very serious. Yeah. And that's the fucked up part about it. But that's the life we live. You know, yeah. it's the world we live in. So it is, it is what it is. Oh yeah, bet. I do. Blessings, Shout out blessings. to Nico Kitchen Shop, y'all. You can pull it in. Yeah. Um. Shout out to Nico Kitchen Shop. We just got a package. Was it yesterday? Day for it. Look, she sent us. They now have restocked all the soap, the Sea Moss Chakra soap. So I oh. say I done took two showers today just because I love the soap. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. Like that shit is amazing. It make you feel amazing. It smells amazing. Um. You know I started like I told y'all. I'm doing my 30 day thing. A lot of people are doing it with me because I posted it online. So shout out to all y'all who are on the journey with me. But I get up in the morning, make my smoothies. I make sure I put my sea moss in my smoothie, a tablespoon of, and she has the Holy Trinity sea moss. She has the super sauce sea moss and she has um, the Marcy moss sea moss. So it's three different kinds of sea moss that you can use. Um, you can even use one on your face as a mask. Like, see, it's just, it has 92 of the 102 minerals we need in our body. So even popping the little gummies, they got the sea moss gummies and she was telling me while I'm doing this, like take a couple of them in between your meals. They'll keep you, you know, suppress your appetite. You know what I'm saying? But they mm. give you hella energy. Like I'll pop two of them, go hit that height. You see, went on my hike yesterday, 3.4 miles. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, on these hoes. It was like climbing 16 flights of stairs. You know, you got the whole little shit. So it gets you together and mm -hmm. it's black on. They started out the trap. You know what I'm saying? Out okay. the house. You know what I'm saying? Out the trunk. Now they have a warehouse. And they also have a dispensary in Oklahoma City. Smokehouse, <coughs> trees. I always appreciate businesses where they start out 
in your mama house or garage or in the back of your trunk because it shows dedication and commitment to do something like that and to see it go to blow up and get successful that is really commendable I wish that all of you guys be successful wherever you are in the world peace love and success to all of you I just want you guys to do it I know it's really hard to do something I know the the hardships that you have to go to to overcome certain things but just continue it and do your best dispensary so shout out to our black owned sponsors make sure you follow support you know what i'm saying we have to stick together in this shit for real so nico kitchen shop n-i-c-k-o k-i-t-c-h-e-n shop.com you know what i'm saying and make sure you get all your cmos needs I'm going to go do that, too, because I need something to help with my weight loss journey. And I want to get some stuff on my beard. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I just know if I take sea moss, it'll make my beard look better. Yes. They say that. People think it's acting like sea moss is like. It's a, it, it makes your just, dick hard. Yeah, it gives you everything. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's good for the beard. <laughs> like. <laughs> you know y'all let her up. Yeah, you need that. Y'all, a lot of y'all tripping. <laughs> yeah. That sea moss is a natural blue pill. Yeah. So, get sea moss and make your dick hard. Get sea moss and get healthy. Get sea moss and work out. Just get sea moss. I'm getting some sea moss, man. I'm, are the gummies good? The gummies, um, yeah. Well, they're not good, but they're they're doable. Okay. Sea moss is not. It's not like sea moss is a steak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for your body, so it's not gonna have the best. I want it to taste like is cookies. It like the raw sea moss or the? <laughs> they good, they make it into no. It's not the raw sea moss. Okay. You know they really make it into the okay. shit. So you can take a table. So you can really take it. It's like taking the apple cider vinegar or some shit. You know what oh, I'm saying? No, nah, because I had the raw sea moss and I tried to make a smoothie for myself. With the, it was like I made some throw up. Ooh. No, you did. That's exactly what you did because it's a whole oh, process like, to that. Yo, I'm like, oh, wow. I tried to go buy something before, uh, too, but I'm like, no, it's a whole it. process to getting it to the <laughs> point where you can. You got to be careful when you, when you like, this doing, like, the did. vitamins and stuff. One of my homeboys had told me he was trying to take vitamins, right? So he was taking vitamins for, like, three, four months, and he didn't understand, like, his energy was just super zapped, right? So every morning he was taking this shit. Guess what he, guess what he was taking and didn't know? What? Melatonin. <laughs> like all the time, it's like a second. So he put this in his body, trying to wake up. And it's making him <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> he like this shit don't work. Like nigga, you taking melatonin? What is wrong with us? Why are we like this? Why the hell? So make sure you know what you're taking. <laughs> See, come on, man. Um, yes, bring in one, and then I'm gonna say something, and then we'll bring in another. Okay. Thank you. Who we got? Oh, number. Okay, cool. That's tight. <laughs> That's hella tight. What? Phone number, call into the Zoom. Uh, okay. That is okay. awesome. Though. We got a link, bro. Mm. Hell yeah, man. What's up? You're a genius. <laughs> You're smart as hell. No, for real. I innovated. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I'm more like, innovative. Like, I'm more innovative than smart. <laughs> you know, the, you know, know too much over here. Too many, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's too much pressure to be a genius. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hi. I'm good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm from Chicago. I'm Sunil. I've been watching on these holes since y'all started. Oh, so thank I'm you. I'm a big fan of you, Camara and Precious. And Doughboy, you know, <laughs> up and down, Thanks. good dude. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I can't wait till you get in Chicago, uh, Precious, because I'm real tight with Just Niche. Like, I've done a few events with her. I'm a DJ out here. Oh, for real? Shout out to Just Niche. Hilarious comedian. Shout out to her. I'm going to come out there, too. I've been talking to Damon. Um, You know Damon Williams? No. He's hilarious. And he's from <laughs> Chicago. That nigga is hilarious. Shouts out Damien Williams. Shout out Damien. He's a beast. A Always brother. been a beast. Since I first met him, just destroys. Um, Damon is one of our elite comics that had the opportunity to be with the Corey Holcombs and uh, Shout Bernie out Max. Corey Holcomb. Mm. Yes. I ain't gonna get to meet Bernie. I know all these other niggas. <laughs> but I was no, just that's with Corey what's earlier up. today at Roseman. Oh, he did Corey. Roseman? Yeah, it was killing too. Shout out Corey Holcomb. So when you come here, if Damon don't make it happen, I'm telling you, I'm going to find a way to make it happen because I do a few events. I got to have you here. Definitely do your readings and for you and Kamara when y'all do the tour and y'all bring 
these hoes and talk to the guests would be amazing. I watched when y'all were on tour. It was amazing. Yes, let's put it together. These hoes will be in the building. Shit, we don't mind. That's all right. Thank you so much for watching. You a DJ? Yeah, we got to get together. We got to make it happen. We come to the And I bought my Nico uh, Seamoss uh, gummies. You did? It goes to Nico. Yes, yes they, they be working for me. You. I put it in. You know what I'm saying? Yes, don't they though? Because I pop two yes, of them and go on my way. Like, like, okay, let's go. You know what I'm saying? I'm up. We thing. We appreciate you so much. Aww. Yay. I watch yay. every week. I'll see you next week. Okay, thank you. That's what's up. That's what's up. Was it some gas? Was it some gas? It was cool, man. It was not a regular pre roll. So it was some, yeah, some, some fire? Oh. Yeah, man. He smoked a whole yeah, blunt man. before that. <laughs> I know. It was yeah. not, that nigga was high before yeah, that bullshit ass pre roll, but whatever, yeah. fool. Um, you gonna do a reading for him? I wanna do a shout out. Why you want? Nah, I don't, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get Nothing to tell me. Oh, no, you gonna no, read no. me? Damn, you gonna read me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I let one person tell me no, no more, not on my show. You know what I'm saying? No, I didn't, let know, me see. <laughs> no. I didn't know that. Yeah. But no, for real, no. Like, if you don't yeah. want it, I won't. It's cool. But uh, no, um, I do want to shout out because y'all know, I know a lot of y'all follow me on Instagram. If you see where I will go do my body sculpting. Um, it's like a non-invasive body sculpting, a non-invasive BBL and stomach <laughs> and cellulite and, you know, sauna thing. So actually a lot of people are doing it. It's like just very, you have to get it done. It's like a process. You go back and go back and go back. But she works on my oh. stomach and she works on my thighs. She works on my ass. She got some little thing to be pop, pop, pop. And it just, she, it just makes you feel <laughs> real fine. She, and then it does make a difference over time. So shout out. Thick and Wellness. Make sure y'all follow them on Instagram at Thick and Wellness because I'm partnering with them for this 30 day challenge. You know what hey. I'm saying? They are partnering with me. So we got the body sculpting. It's basically like um, an innovative technique to detox your body of toxins and to get rid of stubborn fat. And then it had to think for the feet too. I got my feet detoxed. Mm. And then after she does this, it's like, you, you you pissing out the toxins and shit after you do this shit. It's really good, y'all, for real. Um, See, and I just said, y'all, it's through non-invasive techniques you can achieve the look of lipo or a BBL without pain or mm -hmm. downtime. So you can enhance your results during this challenge with the help of Thickum Wellness. Thickum, T-H-I-C-K-E-M <laughs> Wellness. Um, follow their page on Instagram at Thickum Wellness to see amazing before and after pictures. And you can get one session for $60. And that's just by using the code O D H A O D H on the host. O D H A S O D H A O D H. Use a code. Get those. Use a code. Get those. Thick and well, Miss Y'all. Make sure y'all follow them. I have videos on them. You can see me. After I was looking good, man. I just fell off. I don't know what Can I do the feet thing? Oh, yes, does the foot detox, it even tell you whatever color the water turn, oh, it tell shit. you what it's bringing out of you. Like, oh, because my shit, my shit turned doo doo brown and it said it was the tobacco. I was like, God damn, all this goddamn weed. Word. It was like the tobacco toxins and something, but it has different levels and different colors. So it'll tell my you, shit gonna look this like is some from soup. your backwood feet. My shit gonna look like gumbo. <laughs> they was going in, that's what I said. My, my shit name. gonna look trash. Shut up. And they said my shit gonna look. That's what I said on my video. No, nah, because <laughs> if your shit is bad, I know my shit gonna be crazy. Same. Either way it goes, I'm, you I'm really good. do leave, leave feeling really good. And, you know, you're going to need more than one session, but you can get that session with our code ODH. You know what I'm saying? You're going to fall in love with it, so you'll be back. And she also has the waist beads. Y'all know I always have on them waist beads. I get them from her. So get your waist beads, get your body sculpted, but still work out, okay? Because you see I was just going to her, and then I'm just my ass done just start overeating and over drinking and overdoing drugs, and, you know, <laughs> shit happens. But here we are, three days sober on these hoes. Come on. And um, still pushing. Hey, so make on, sure you follow them, y'all. Thick and well on the support. On these oh. Oh. Yeah. And I know you laugh every time you hear it. Like, these hoes, these hoes. Yeah, we just take it and turn it around because <laughs> dudes think it's cool. Shit, we don't be tripping off of it. We know we ain't no hoes. It's our expression. On these hoes. <laughs> All right. And when you killing some oh, shit, you know what the fuck you doing. Niggas know what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck going on. We got another caller. Come Bring them in. All right, Corey. Let's go. Load it. It's a loading. <laughs> okay. Come Hello. On. My stomach grabbing. Then when I try to eat, I only get a bite or two. I'm sick of me. 
Hello? It's because of drugs. If I was high, I'd be mashing. Hello? Hello? Dope boy, what's up, ugly ass nigga? What's up, <laughs> ugly ass nigga? Who this? <laughs> man, this is C, man. I'm calling from the D. What's All up, brother? Precious, what, what it do? Hey, hey, C from the D. Representing the clip. I feel you. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you were talking about Detroit or D-Town. Okay, what's up, Oak Cliff? No, no, hell no. No, the D. The D. I know you from the D. Triple D, goddammit. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, that's my what's people up. Stay, my people used to stay in South Dallas over there for second and all that. Oh, yeah. My uncle used to stay on Pennsylvania over there. I used to be over there all the time, right by yeah, the meat packing yeah. store. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All righty. What's up? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just calling to show some love. You know, I fuck with all y'all, so that's appreciate all I was trying you, to do, show some love. That's so real. We appreciate you know? it. Hey. Appreciate, hey, hey, it's always D-Town love. When, when the last time you went to Big T? Shit, last time I was home, which was March. Shit. <laughs> that's why Slauson really, swapped me, really. y'all, Big T. <laughs> yeah. I hit that bitch every time I come I home. Really. Got some fly shit up at that bitch, really. too. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. And a piece of pizza on my I way really. out. Gee, already, like I, already, like I already, I already, I already, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, but that's all I wanted to say to say hello to y'all, you know, show love and uh, y'all keep doing y'all shit. Hey, hey, I'm a Virgo too. Shut the, the fuck 19. up. You a Virgo? Yes. Oh uh, shit, me too. Hey, Shut and, up. Hey, yeah. and, 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 and my daughter a Virgo and my daddy Damn. a Virgo. Wow. For real? Damn. We all in a row. Yeah. Wow. That right. is crazy. When they birthday? Yours the 19th. Mine are 19, my dad is 11, and my daughter's 10. Shut up, oh. and mine are 12. We 10, 11, 12. Yep. <laughs> and my, right, best, like my best friend's the 18th, you know what I'm saying? And yours are 19. Already. That's crazy. Yeah. And Already. when is yours? 17. And here's the 17, y'all. We did it in a row. <laughs> 19, yeah. 10, 11, wait, well, 10, 11, yes. 12. And then my friend's 17. You 17, she 18, you 19. Oh, look how in tune yeah. we are. Oh, my God. Right. What month is it? Right. What month is it? September. I'm August 21st. What the does best. this mean for me? I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's your daddy's birthday. Yeah. We are really yeah. all connected, y'all. You see man. that? Shouts out the I mean, yeah, real Virgo uh, shit. Uh, real yeah, Virgo shit. Airport, real Leo yeah, shit. Real Virgo <laughs> shit. Real Leo Beyonce. Shit. Yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Motherfucking Dave yeah. Chappelle. You better not act like we ain't the yeah. ones in nah. the tools on these hoes. It's yeah. other dope Leos too. We don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, hey, man. but yeah, so but I'm just Y'all can't really y'all. argue with the Leo. My, my father and brother. You want a car? So I'll be chilling. Precious, you can do me a favor, Precious. Can you shout out where I'm from? I'm from Sherman, Texas. From Sherman, Texas. Shout us out. Hell yeah. Yeah, we like 30 minutes. We like 30 minutes north of Dallas. Okay, okay. Why the hell I ain't heard of goddamn look, it be so that Texas is so goddamn. Shout out to Sherman, Texas in the motherfucking building. She already. Don't need help. Already. I, already. <laughs> Thank I appreciate you. you. All right, baby, be safe. All right, y'all have a good one. You Thank too, you. playa. Y'all see me sit here and start sweating out of nowhere because I'm detoxing. Yeah, nigga, I'm detoxing, nigga, I'm Shit. breaking out. Stop being so moody. Shit, fucking heat. You wanna go to the movies? Hey, you wanna you no. wanna know some dope shit that I if you scan this shit, it's a track called "Don't Worry About It" that I did featuring Demar <laughs> Randy that'll really mellow this shit out for you, and you'll be able to at least you know what I'm saying that. be like on some raw shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a uh, it's a slapper, and it's positive and uplifting, and I edited out the cuss words. So, you know, but sometimes you got to have cuss words. Yeah, why don't you, why did you edit out the cuss words? Because I wanted to have a, because I wanted to have a, yeah, I wanted it to, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do that to where you could play it. And it's fun sometimes to do sound effects over the, what they call cuss words. You can play it at work. You could be like, yo, listen <laughs> yeah, to this. Take the, yeah, take the yeah headphones it's a cheat code. Out. I like the cheat code. Like, Fuck it's it not a cheat ass, code. Nigga. It's just like a, uh, it's like, yeah, you say yeah, it's clean. It's clean. We cleaned it. <laughs> it's clean because we cleaned it. And it's clean and play it or don't play it, but you can, but you can play it and it'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to explain too much. The wing set. Yes, let's take one last one. We might not even have time for the card because we got six minutes. Let's go though. Yeah, let's take the call. Bring them on through. Hey. Hello. Hey. 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 You How you doing? Out? Oh, okay. Good. How you? A little bit. Good. Can you hear us? The audio is cracking. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. What's your name? Where you calling from? 
I'm Raina. Okay, so I'm in Houston, but I'm from Berkeley, California. I'm from Bay Area. Hey, hey I'm in the Berkeley. Hey, What's up? Sheesh. Bay Area. Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm super excited to be on. I tried to call last week, but but precious. So I met you and um Kamir when you guys came to Houston. I what? met you guys at hey. your at your live show. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up. Hey girl. Yes, friend. First, first off, okay. So I want to say this to all the followers. First off, Precious and Camira look bomb as fuck in person. <laughs> That's what so I want to say. Facts. First off, like it's so sweet. So like no, like dead ass. So I just want to <laughs> say that. And then um, like when I came to y'all live show, I wasn't even expecting to see y'all like up in person. But y'all like so down to earth and cool. I was like, you feel me? Like y'all, y'all, y'all real <laughs> you people. You feel me? <laughs> like up, for real. Like dead ass. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you in Ber- girl? What did I do in Berkeley? It was some theater I did in Berkeley. Girl, yes, black yes. repertory so, so theater. I, so I want to say repertory. this because a lot of people. He's in the black I'm, repertory I'm sorry theater. To cut you off. Go ahead. Yes, wait, wait, wait. Who said that? Wait, wait. You who? Oh, wow. Who is this? Really who is this said that? Anya Malik. dot com. Who Anya who know Malik. about the black repertory? Let me let me find Anya out. Malik. Okay. What's up? Yeah, I'm from I'm from Oakland. I'm from West Oakland. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of people don't know about Berkeley. So when I when when I explain well Berkeley, so I'm from the borderline, literally <laughs> one end of here and there Berkeley. over that here and there shit. <laughs> I'm no, I'm from South Berkeley. I went to all Berkeley schools. Right, but the, the other he, end of the, the block was there. North Oakland. You feel me? The the right, 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 right. Yeah. So, but the here and right, there. No, dead ass. Like I'm on the borderline. <laughs> my granny stay like you feel me here anyway, is so here is berkeley is, there is oakley <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like right. on god on god that's how it is that shit was like, like a little art god. project they put together no to like, you already know there, berkeley you already know berkeley you already know berkeley you know. oakland it was funny it was it's yeah, super, yeah, I it's super yeah. Close. yeah it I wasn't tight because it was tight it was tight because it was like oh y'all racist damn nah nah that was cool when i was there oh damn it was cool when like, I was there. Like, we, like, like, uh, cool when I explain it to people, like, when people, if you know Marshawn Lynch, you know that he went to, he went to Berkeley, he went to college in Berkeley. You feel me? I would like to like, know Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> you would like, if, if you know, if you, I mean, you would know, if you know him, like, niggas know Marshawn. When you say Oakland, you feel me? Football, yeah. Raiders, Marshawn, yeah. mm-hmm. you feel me? They know him. But he went to college in Berkeley, you feel me? So it's the borderline. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? That's what's yeah, up. Yeah. No, I've been. I did a show right. after. I had a great time. Oakland felt like Texas. You know, what I mean, with Berkeley, yes, wherever I was yes, at. Yes, Yeah, it was very, it was very nice. It was a great show, actually. You That's know what, what I saying? said. I'm, I'm home in Houston right now, but I mean, I travel. But, um, but yeah. I did. I want you to read me a card, friend, because you didn't get a chance to read that. What's your name again? I'm Raina. I'm gonna be quiet because I've been talking a lot. Yeah, girl, the time gonna run out before you get a call. No, nah, I'm sorry. No, I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Right? <laughs> I'm, just playing. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Okay, we're gonna pull for Raina. See what's going yes, on. Man. Let's see what's going on in your life, girl. Hell going on out there. Shout out to Marshawn. Houston, Lynch. you in Houston. Shout out to Marshawn Lynch yeah. on these hoes. Yeah. God damn it. He bought my favorite it's restaurant. So uh, uh, he was uh, uh, Rob Benz. Yeah, man. Huh? That shit was. Shout out, out to the Warriors. And shout out to the Warriors. They probably whooping it right now, man. What's the score right now? Nah, man. Is I'm in the, the chat right now. I want the Warriors to lose. Why are you? Me being a LeBron fan, I can admit that the Warriors will win in Game Seven. I predicted that it was going to be tied two-two headed back to Warriors. Now the the tricky part is that these three games I cannot predict which one which order which team is going to win but I I do have the Warriors in seven though but it's a close one it could go either way but Warriors in seven are you a I'm hater a Sacramento. but what's that was it so you just a hater you should be a congratulator because the Sacramento so far from yeah. you know what it is all right give my little thing back so you know me from Sac I know you from yeah, Sac. I know you're from Sacramento. Oh, I thought you said But she I didn't know okay. you took the basketball thing so personal. No, no, no. I'm just playing. I'm talking shit. I know. But no, but what I'm saying is. Here, hand me that. Yeah, yeah, shut up. So I can get this done. Yeah, and it's then, a lot. Yeah. It sounds like Mumba rapping here right now. <laughs> what happened? What just happened right now? <laughs> I don't know, but it's a he lot. He didn't want to check the score. Because oh, he didn't want to. He, <laughs> he was mad. He was like, yo. I did. Okay, for Raina, then we got to close the show. So give him your information. 
because we got to get out of here. Onyemalik.com. Mm -hmm. The wing set. Rain, 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 I am Doughboy TV. You are? You are. 56, 68, Boston, halftime. No, I just be talking trash, but I can't be a fan because yes. great. I'm from Sacramento. You know what the thing is with Sacramento. Every time you tell somebody you're yes. from Sacramento. Okay, here we oh. go. You got to shut up. Okay, we ain't got time. Y'all got to talk about that Sacramento uh, North shit later. Okay. Um, all right, first we come out with the eight of cups. Now, y'all be rude. I'm sober. Everything bothers me, okay? Eight of um, <laughs> the eight of cups you got, Raina, and this is showing you getting the goddamn balls to walk away from some shit that done pitched you off. You know what I'm saying? This is you saying, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm not happy here, and I'm leaving. Yeah. You got me fucked up. If you think, and look, look what all you leaving behind. You're like, I don't give a damn about them cubs. I don't give a damn what's in there. I don't care what you're talking about, sir, ma'am, job, this. Look, y'all, hey. y'all think that I'm just gonna sit around and, and y'all gonna play me and y'all got me fucked up. So guess what? I'm leaving. I can't hear you, baby. You hear though. But look, this is what this card is saying, okay? Shit, you have had enough. Motherfucker, you know what? It fuck motherfuckers up when they think they got you because you, you just stayed so long. So they think you ain't going to never leave. But, bitch, you got up and said, you know what? Huh, I've cried my last cry, god damn it. You want to keep some secrets? And, and I'm finna go. And guess what? That was the right decision because now your justice is coming. You was, That was your test, bitch, and you passed it. Do you hear me? You passed the test, and now your justice is coming. If they tried to play justice you, they gonna right get now. fucking played. But your justice is coming, baby. Oh they really tried it. Motherfuckers really be trying it out here, and they think ain't no consequences. You don't know who people got in the spiritual world, baby. And you got somebody, baby, sitting there like they ain't gonna fuck you up. See? Good, child. You finally learned the fucking lesson. Now you yeah. can get the goddamn rewards, okay? The justice is yeah. coming. People gonna find out exactly what the fuck happened and why it happened. And then you gonna have the love of your motherfucking life. Look at that. Two of oh coming God. together, bitch, with somebody that love you. These are two becoming one. Y'all are going to be so fucking happy. Woo, that motherfucker gonna be mad, girl. <laughs> Nicks be mad. But you gonna be mad, but you deserved it because you didn't do right. I had to walk a fucking way, get my justice, and here go my motherfucking man. And bitch, it might be somebody from your childhood. It might be somebody from back in the day. Because look, these are little kids on this last card I pulled for you. It's the six. And it's like, this is like some kind of a memories from when you were young. So you could have grew up with them or maybe went to school with them or maybe somebody you, 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 you got away from, but y'all got to come back. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Possibly it's somebody you know, but baby, you going to have that love, baby. This is going to be your happiness. That's your justice, bitch. After passing the test and getting away from the bull shit. Everything is a test. You would have had to retake it, but you passed it, bitch. And there go your justice, and there go your man. And it might be go. like, your family already know this nigga, bitch. Y'all just gonna get married. Fuck it. Precious. Hmm? Precious. Hmm? I, I know you about to wrap up the show. I'm gonna just confirm this. I left my job today. Shut I'm off for a whole month for stress leave. I work at a hospital. Oh, shit. I work at a hospital. Well, and I'm and I'm a no, professional no, no. photographer, freelance. So I'm about to go. I'm about to go full on. I'm not playing with you. This Look is at my son. Instagram right now, bro. Wow. I left my job today. I, I'm off for a whole month because of stress leave. Shut up. It's real. You real. not playing like yo. You read your reads are real, bro. Damn. Today. Wow. I'm not playing pressure. Sometimes you could be at a job that you do not like and. It just can mess up your whole mood, bro. I totally feel this lady right here. I understand her passion with that. Doing something that makes you feel free is something that we all should feel in our lifetime, you know? Sometimes doing a job that you do not like isn't healthy for you because it's going to mess up your, your, your mood. It's going to make you feel some type of way you just don't want to feel that way so i, I see i feel all on this one yes i own god i'm not i don't play with god i don't play with god that's beautiful Today, i've dropped until july 9th uh precious and precious hall i'm what off to, to to not to july i'm stuttering shit bitch like <laughs> dead ass I love that day. that's how okay. stressed i was working at a hospital they just shot it up last week bitch mm -hmm. i left they had me fucked up and I don't even work with patients. That's how stressed I am. I don't even work. I work in a hospital, but I don't work with patients. I work in production. I work in video production 
at a hospital. Still stressed the fuck out, bitch. Wow. Dead ass. Like, and you le- oh see, God. this is your message. You really just said all that. That's like spooky. I'm, in I'm a not, good way. In a good I'm way. Not, it's a hospital I'm, with a video that, to production department. I'm turned they up. Make, they gotta make videos. <laughs> and you should. And you, You're right. You should. They have professional photographers and people that make the commercials, commercials and, and videos. Yeah, not it. So you already I, in the field. You just probably at the wrong place. Yes, but baby, I'm, 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 I'm okay. Oakland. I'm Oakland, but I went to uh, LA. I'm in. I've been in the okay. business. Been Shut in it, up. but I'm thriving. And that was the first thriving. part that came out. They said, "Baby, you walked away." Thriving. Shit. Thriving. I had to leave California to thrive. Yeah, I believe it. I, I had to leave this. <laughs> I graduated. Uh, yeah. Oh God. Oh damn, you breaking up bad, baby. But I'm glad that you get it. I'm glad that. It resonated, girl. You know, fuck me up. I'm sitting here like this shit is real. That's all right. Nah, I know. <laughs> I know my shit be good, but wow, that's crazy today. That, that's it's, crazy. Not, it's not a game. It's not a game. Wow. I gotta really do this shit. Man. I gotta get this. That was really my sign a, it's too. Really no, it's my sign yeah. too. Thank you. And girl, just say, go after your dream, girl. Your justice is coming. You made the right decision. Just keep going, yeah. your girl. This is gonna be beautiful, girl. You fucking around to find your man like Gabrielle I, Union and that. What was it with him and her? And, <laughs> wasn't that when she was taking pictures of him? Like, she and Files and stuff. Fucking with him. Remember the movie? Wow. The movie. But. Slow ho, French ho, dumb ho. And remember when he brought that bitch to the. You know what movie I'm talking about with no Gabrielle Union when she was with the fine ass chocolate nude. Um, and but, but, but remember she dated his, her, his daddy. She didn't, she didn't do nothing with him, but they went on a date yeah. and he found out. Remember that movie? No, was wasn't it with Phil? Huh? With Denzel, right? When she was dating that? No, it was, was with Ashley Kutcher. Oh. I, no, was with but Ashley. Denzel was dating a younger woman and some beach shit or whatever. No, the one who played Ricky in Boys in the Hood. That's who it was. Trey, mm. best man. Oh, uh, fucking Morris Chestnut. It was Morris Chestnut. I remember Gabri, Gab, shut the fuck up, dog. <laughs> For real. Don't say nothing else on my show right now. I'm sick of you. <laughs> saying dumb shit. Okay, look. It could have been best man. It wasn't ever Justin Bieber, nigga. <laughs> I, I said best man. Oh, it was. was it? I didn't know you uh, no, read Justin Bieber. Tarot. Not is it true you that said, was it Justin Bieber? You no, know? I didn't say Justin is it, Bieber. Is it true that tarot? <laughs> is it true that like regular cards is like tarot cards? Some it's of like some people can like read them regular... like that. That's what I first started. I first learned um, something with some regular cards from somebody who was like Creole or something in college, Real. and they showed me how to do some shit. <laughs> she read them yeah, to yeah, me, man. It was accurate as hell. But no, yeah, thank you, happened. thank you for calling, cause you done helped me too. I know I'm helping you, but you helped me, so. Okay, cool. No, that's cool. She uh-huh. can hear me. So follow your dreams, baby. Keep going. We appreciate you. Yeah. And I appreciate y'all, too. You know what I mean? This but is I'm fine, just, man. I'm just trying to think of you. She your ass talking about Justin Bieber. I didn't say Justin Bieber. Yes, you did. I did never say Justin Bieber. You didn't. No. You said somebody white. I said best man Justin buddy. Timberlake. I said the best man. Before that, when I was trying to figure out who the black... I said, I said, I said, I said Aston Kutcher, because I thought it was that movie with Aston Kutcher yeah. and Bernie yeah. Mac. What was that movie? Remake, that they remade. Like, that guess who's back? But that wasn't. But that wasn't. But that wasn't Gabrielle yeah, Union, was it? Yeah, because I'm no, talking about cause Gabrielle okay. Union was the photographer in this. Remember, she was oh, at the park okay. just that taking pictures, bad. and Morris Chestnut was a doctor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, okay. My bad. Yeah, so this was fun. Yes, yeah, this was really fun. This is lit. This was really fun. And yes, I do read tarot. And yes, you can. Um, damn, that's crazy. That one fucked me up though. She quit yeah, today. Today. Wow. Good anyway, girl. make sure y'all tune in every Thursday, uh, every Wednesday, Wednesday, six Pacific Standard Time. We will be live on these hoes. You can call in. You can talk in the chat. Um, we just having a good time with it. Y'all, Camille will be back soon. I know y'all miss her. We do too. And so she's coming, and we'll be here. Yeah. So tune in, and we uh-huh. out Peace. on these hoes. Yeah. Y'all pray for me. Wonderful podcast. I truly enjoyed the podcast. It was really insightful. Glad that they had Doughboy in the cut. Doughboy, Precious. I watched them and roast me a few times. I knew Precious from season three when she was in the classroom behind the desk. So she seems like a really entertaining person and everything like that. So please do follow their YouTube channel. It's really entertaining. But thank you guys for watching. Until next.
Cobb. This is your boy.